The historical of Confucianism. Historical background. The word Confucianism is 16th century Jesuit conceit that purports to be a translation of a Chinese term. The most common Chinese term for what Westerners call Confucianism, however, is more felicitously rendered the school of the learned. This educated group may have emerged within lower scalons of aristocracy as early as the Shang, but it was apparently not understood as a distinctive school of thought until relatively late. The Life of Confucius Confucius is the Latinized version of Kong Si and the honorific Kong Fu Si both meaning Master Kong. He was born in September 28 on 551 BCE, hence, it is considered a day of celebration in East Asia, an officially holiday in Taiwan, or a Teacher's Day, and the day of cultural celebration in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Confucius was born in a small feudal state of Lo, now Shantang province in Yufu. His personal name was Q and his family name was Kong. He came from a noble family, but by the na- by the time of his birth, they had already lost much of their wealth. The five classics Book of Documents The Book of Documents or Shang Tzu is a compilation of 58 chapters detailing the events of ancient China. The Book of Documents tells the deeds of the early sage kings Yao and Shun. These narratives are influential in the development of the understanding of a sage. The compilation also includes the history of the Xia, Shang and Shu dynasties, books of Odes. The book the Book of Odes in Shi Jing is also translated as the Book of Songs or Book of Poetry. The Book of Odes is comprised of 305 poems dealing with a range of issues, including love and marriage, agricultural concerns, daily lives, and war. Books of Rights The Book of Rights or Sandy describe the social norms, governmental organization, and the ritual conduct during the Shu dynasty. Believed to have been compiled by Kong Si, the Book of Rites is the foundation of my ritual principle that arise in later imperial China. According to the Book of Rites, proper, proper ritual conduct would maintain harmony and empire as well as emphasize the virtue of piety. Book of Changes the Book of Changes or I Ching contains a system of divination which is centered largely around the principle of yin and yang. The Book of Changes has also been translated as I Ching or Classic of Changes. Some of the divination practices are still used today. Spring and Autumn Anas is the longest of the five classics, the Spring and Autumn. Anas is a historical chronicle of the state of law, unlike the book of documents. The spring and autumn annals appear to have been created especially for analytic purposes. The spring and autumn annals was traditionally understood as being written by Confucius, but modern scholars believe the text was actually written by various chronicles from the stage room. The Four Books the Great Learning The Great Learning is a guide for mo- moral self-cultivation. According to the Great Learning, the key to moral self-cultivation is learning. Of the investigation of things, through investigation of things, one comes to understand the principle in all things, which allows one to better comprehend the world. Analyx Written during the spring and autumn period through the war- warring states period, the analects of the new is collection of Kongsi's teachings and discussion with disciples. Menchus 
Mencius is collection of conversation Mencius had with Gongsi. Mencius placed a strong emphasis on the responsibility of the emperor to practice good governance through following the way. Additional Mencius believed that all human beings are inherently good. The doctrine of the mean. The doctrine of the mean has been translated in many ways, including the constant mean and maintaining perfect balance. The doctrine of the mean is attributed to CC, Kongsi's grandson, and deals with how to maintain perfect balance and harmony in one's life. The doctrines of the mean focuses on following the way and acting in accordance with what is right and natural but acknowledge that people often do not act properly. To re rectify the situation, people are encouraged to engage in moral self-cultivation to act properly. In addition, the doctrine of the mean emphasizes the fact that good governance rests with men and that rulers who maintain balance are not only more effective but also encouraged. That's all. Thank you for watching.